whole life I always knew I was special Even with no remainders I could always move a decimal Money on my mind while the girls that made un beso Hustlers in my blood and it's running through my vessels Just trying to clear the threshold Just trying to make a way In my race against time I could see an early grave School to prison pipeline 12 years a slave Suspension and detention is conditioned for a cage The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros Is if you could only watch one of these fights and thank God for DVR, because we can watch both. But if you could only watch one of these fights on April 30th, which would you choose? Katie Taylor versus Amanda Serrano or Shakur Stevenson versus Oscar Valdez? I'm going to turn it over to you, Spirit G. If you only watch one, which one would it be and why? Well, I'm going to go with the Katie fight. And the reason why this is going to be history, it's like a historical matchup, undisputed. So I think... The, the the stakes are higher for this fight than Stevenson, even though, you know, I like my man Stevenson and all, but, you know, it's just a regular fight on his end. On their end, I think this is, like, historic. So I think because, you know, um, this is the first time we're going to see this in women's boxing, and these are two star um, female boxers, I think it warrants that that uh, that viewership. All right. Trill dollar bill. This is dumb. Why would they ever put these two fights on the same day, right? You know, Bob about, about women's boxing, bro. Yeah, I know. Allegedly, allegedly. Yeah, no, no, no. I heard his comments before. You know, and, uh, Jake Paul has every time he goes out, he makes sure that he <laughs> lets everybody know of Bob's comments that he made before in the past, as far as women are concerned. Y'all know who I'm rocking with. I'm rocking with Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano's. That's the fight I want to see. It's a historical fight, and it's undisputed. One thing I do disagree with, with G is that other fight is a great fight with Oscar Valdez and Sakura Stevens. This is a unified fight. Mm -hmm. unified. Well, I never said it wasn't great. I'm oh. person to the other. This one holds yeah. more. Um, yeah. It's historic for women's boxing because, you know, like G said before, it's for undisputed and it's the highest paid, both women to be the first highest paid fight for women um, boxing, which is dope. And this is for history and it's, it's headlining. And I think that that's amazing, but I do not want to overlook. I think that this is going to be a tough fight for Shakur Stevens. I don't think this is going to be a, a walk or a walk <laughs> through. I think Oscar Valdez is a good opponent. And if uh, uh, Stevenson can pull this off, Whew. then Stevenson deserves all the praise because Oscar Valdez is coming through with some heavy hands. And this is to be the first time we get to really see if Shakur Stevenson can take a punch from a real puncher. So I think that that is a good fight. And if there is to unify uh, the WBC belt and what's the other belt, I believe, is the WBO or WBA? One of those no, I'm not sure. I don't know. Top of my head. Uh, so, um, you know, so they're going to unify that belt. So I just wish it was a, a different day, but y'all know who I'm rocking with, Taylor and Serrano. TBE. Yo, man, I, I'm going to say this. The Taylor Serrano fight is going to be across the pond, and Stevenson Valdez is going to be here in, the, here in the USA. Not true. Not true. Wait, wait, what's the Serrano fight? That's the square garden. Nah, that's the square garden. Well, he, it's gonna be on East said, Coast. He said it's gonna be across Hogan's Pond. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be, yeah, yeah. You think we can be? Y'all took y'all took my words out of context. Now, when I said across the pond, it's like, like you know, you know, Hogan's Pond, Jamaica Pond, East <laughs> Pond, New York. You know, they got ponds in New York. I'm, you know, I'm with you, pond. man. I'm with you, man. <laughs> but you know, Stephen and Valdez, Stephen and Valdez, probably problem. probably fighting on the West Coast. You know, it's like you can watch him at eight, and then we watch them at one. So we can get both fights. So you don't have to fight between the two. But for me, that's not what we're asking you, bro. I we're know. Asking you if I, you could only watch one. We we I said that obviously we can watch both with DVR and everything. The point is, if you had to pick one to watch, which right. one would you pick? All right. So Clarissa, hold on, hold on, Clarissa, hold on, hold on Kaden. Let me defend my son. <laughs> I did the same thing, and y'all were like, "Yo, G, leave him alone." Leave him alone. 
<laughs> Thank you. Hey, but listen, hey, hey. listen. Y'all may not believe me, but Clarissa Yo, called geez, me. Nice someone. to see you stand up for your son. <laughs> listen, listen. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Jesus. You know, listen, listen. Y'all may not believe me, but Clarissa called me from a scam likely number and was like, "I don't want you watching no female boxes." I said, "Okay." So this is an easy choice. Stevenson versus Valdez, because this is a fight where Stevenson is going to be battle tested. We're going to see what he's really made of. And Oscar's already showed us what he is in this sport. So I, this is a fight I want to see this day because these are two. This is a, 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 a young and up and coming fighter versus somebody who's already established himself in the sport. So I would love to see this fight and I can't wait to see this. Fight. Yeah, wait, wait. So. Carissa caught you from a scam likely number, yep. which means she didn't even want you to know her actual number. Yeah. To tell she you didn't want me to know what's her. Hold on, hold on. To tell you not to watch other women fight, but she gets to be in a relationship with another man. Listen, listen, listen. It's a relationship, something special. But she was like, nah, I get jealous when you talk about other women boxes. It's only me. And I was like, I understand. You know? So that's why I apologize oh, earlier. But you're said, okay with her being with another man. She's single, dog. She's single. And like I said before in the show, if a sick man can't see me, she don't belong to him. And that's it. Period. Okay, too. <laughs> all right, man. <laughs> Let me stop causing trouble. Let me stop causing trouble. Let me stop hey, causing defend, trouble. Defend that, uh, G. <laughs> I'm, I'm about to pull a trill and just, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> don't go black on me. We just had it. We was just born in G. Driss. Come on, son. Hey, Come man. on. God bless you. God bless you. Man. Damn. <laughs> All right. So check it out. You know, this is a tough one, but. Because you got history. You got the first women headlining Madison Square Garden, the highest paid fight in women's boxing. You got it all. It's It's been intriguing. It's been building up over the years. But it's only 20 minutes of a fight. And I'd rather watch a fight that's going to last long enough for me to finish my chips or my popcorn or my sandwich or whatever uh nourishment i'm partaking in at that time so what i would watch is shakur stevenson versus oscar valdez one that's going to be a very high quality boxing match because shakur stevenson stevens stevenson is one of the best technical boxers in the game right now they keep showing his stats how nobody can touch him as true alluded to i think valdez is going to touch him and i want to see how he's going to react to that and I'm thinking you're looking at Valdez and you're looking at Shakur Stevenson and you're looking at one of these guys can become potentially a pay-per-view star in the future. So this is a very big fight in terms of who's going to take a step forward, a huge step forward in becoming a star in the future. And I think Bob Arum was willing to make this fight because he needs a star and he needs one fast. So he's putting these two in to make them bigger. He's going to put him in another fight to make him bigger because he needs to replace some fighters who have left his roster. So Bob is now already in star maker mode. So the winner of this fight is going to take a huge step forward towards becoming a star in boxing. And I think that we're going to see a really good Shakur Stevenson. We're going to see a really great Oscar Valdez. And for me, I just want to watch the fight that has the potential to be entertaining and entertain me longer. And that's going to be Oscar Valdez and Shakur Stevenson. Now, don't get it twisted. If Katie Taylor versus Amanda Serrano was 12 three-minute rounds, I would be watching their fight. But it's not. And I'm going to invest my time elsewhere. So Let us that's know why we pick. Let us know how you feel in the comment section. Please like and subscribe and check us out on Instagram and Twitter. And please check out our podcast on all major streaming services. Y'all going to want to see the next episode. We're the Boxing Bros.